museums It's not hard at all to fall asleep in When dreams are soup, we are to spoon Spoons and gun in circles round the bed I pay to dream an empty beach Where my spirit comes to sit Hi folks, uh, my name is Sandro Perry. I'm a musician uh, from Toronto, Canada. And uh, I uh, write music, I play music, I produce music, um, and I try to do it uh, as, uh, as best as I can and as honestly as I can. And uh, I have a handful of records released, I guess, since 1999. Uh, I started out with my own record label called Audi Sensa, and I released a bunch of 12 inches uh, four, I think it was, under the name Polmo Polpo, and uh, one under the name Dot Wigan, which is a collaboration with an old friend of mine, Todd Fox. And uh, shortly thereafter, I had a CD released with Alienate Recordings out of Montreal, and then shortly after that with Constellation, out of, also out of Montreal. And uh, I've been doing records with them since Yeah. 
I think uh, the 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 catalyst for me to to start working in songwriting and uh, lyric writing and po possibly uh, moving away from more processed music, which are all things that I still like to do and I still you know still work in that realm. But uh, it was really just uh, I guess primarily. Um, out of uh, a desire to uh, to work with to to sing, that was the first thing. Because uh, for me, the first the first uh, instrument is always their voice, the human voice. And with anything I was doing, I was always kind of singing it first, even just to myself, in order to kind of map out I you know compositional ideas. And uh, and then I, I guess. I just became interested in, uh, y you know, that kind of direct line from the voice, from the idea to the voice, and how there was nothing really uh, in between those two, and, you know. And I like the, uh, I've always liked listening to singers. I mean, it's always been my one of my major interests in music, and um, so I, you know, I guess I kind of uh, became a little more confident in myself to explore those things and um, and I was also you know uh, playing music with a lot of people at the time who were you know encouraging of that and who were doing that themselves and um, you know all locally and in, in Toronto and um, I guess it just be uh, it was a it was a timing thing I was just at a particular point in my life where uh, I felt uh, confident to explore those ideas and have them be just as uh, much a part of my musical um, exploration as anything else. I don't like to uh, rule anything out at all.
Well, the relationship between the plays Pomo Polpo and the Leichhardt Swelling records is uh, definitely more than just the titles. Like the uh, uh, compositionally, everything is, uh, or melodically and harmonically, everything is the same if you listen to it. Uh, I think I may have changed some of the keys, which is possible, but uh, as far as the shape of the melodies and harmonically what's happening, it's all the same. Uh, even rhythmically, a lot of the time, it's the same, same ideas. Uh, I guess I just wanted to show that when you have, when you write a piece of music, and this is the way it is for me, I think it is for a lot of people, that um, there are, you know, it's really just a, it's just a recipe for something. And it's the way that you, uh, you can substitute ingredients in a recipe and still get uh, the same kind of dish different flavors I don't know if that makes sense but uh, it's just a blueprint really a composition and um, you know I I think that way when I'm writing music when I'm playing music I'm always uh, very aware that it can go in many different directions and it's just uh, the direction that I choose at that moment really is just it's, uh, temporal it's it's just it just has to do with that day really I, I and I think that it's, there's no, there's no uh, ultimate uh, version of any song that I would ever write. And so I just, I guess I just wanted to kind of uh, explore that idea and also to show that, you know, there's really not, the superficial differences are really just superficial and that I think it helps to, to be able to hear music more that way and uh, as a listener, kind of I feel like it allows the listener gives gives the listener allowance to fill in the blanks themselves as well when you're listening to a piece of music you know and um, as far as adding the the lyrics that was an afterthought you know all those lyrics were added after those pieces were written and uh, Thematically, some of them were very obvious as to what I should follow, and some were were really more formal, like a, a more formal approach to writing lyrics, which was uh, phonetically, melodically, all of those sorts of things. Um, and I think that, uh, yeah, I think that probably sums up the connection between the two. <laughs> Ha <laughs> Thank you.
Alright, so tell me, tell me what the little tiny mirror on your guitar is. Okay, so this tiny mirror over here. It's a tiny mirror right here. If you look in it, you can see yourself. It opens up the uh, portal to another, another world. <laughs> a world that the uh, Prince Rama of Iota probably knows a lot about. Maybe get a shot of these guys because they know a lot about. <laughs> so it's uh, it's tr it's triggering. It's a thing that uh, a friend of mine, Eric Chino, introduced me to, which is uh, using a gate, triggering a gate to open up different sounds. And so I'm putting the synth through that, and it's actually not hooked up right now, so it's a little bit of an anticlimax. But uh, that's what's happening there. And I can also I can put anything through here and open up the door, and you'll hear that. There's a little green dot the blinking right there. Yeah, it's, it's evidence. Yeah, that's evidence that something, that going, something is going on inside the <laughs> Schnickerbocker, which was this Schnickerbocker here was built by a friend of mine, Shaheen, in Toronto. He's uh, an electronics whiz, and he built this special box for me, which these guys have christened the Banana Box, <laughs> but uh, its other name is the Schnickerbocker.
Thank <laughs> you.